Is your computer running slow? Well, adding memory is a great upgrade, but be careful. Our good friend Guru Stu is here to tell us why. Hi there. Good, good morning. morning. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we <laughs> got it. You're doing it right. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about memory today, some do's and don'ts, what to be careful, what not to be careful. First thing is, memory is not hard drive space. We want to make sure that you know that. We, uh, hard drive space is, is your hard drive is nothing but a filing cabinet. Memory is what makes the computer run faster. The more memory you have, the more data can be loaded onto the main board. This is a main board right here. And it doesn't have to go to the hard drive as often in order to read data. Memory runs in billionths of a second. Hard drives run in thousandths of a second. So there's a real big speed difference. So the more memory you have to a certain point, that's what we're going to talk about, will help your computer run a lot better. All right. A lot more better. That's what Carter would say. <laughs> more better. Okay. Now. I'm going to hand you a chip, and I'm going to take this chip right here. Okay, looks don't almost. Eat it. No, no, don't <laughs> eat it. No, not that kind of chip. Are you a double dipper? <laughs> okay, I'm a Doritos kind of girl. <laughs> okay. Anyway, do you see any real big difference, Marianne, between these two chips? No, not a whole. Not a whole lot. That chip was bought at a big box store, and it failed in less than a year. Oh, no. This is the kind of chips that we sell at Sandia Computers that have a lifetime warranty. Nice. Memory is the single one of the single most important components inside your computer when running your program, surfing the internet, and that sort of thing. If you buy cheap memory, it's like buying cheap shirts, cheap brakes, cheap tires, cheap sweaters. Yes. You don't, well, don't point memory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But they won't last. That's they won't sure. last. And consequently, your machine will freeze up, will lock up, and that sort of thing. This type of memory that we're holding in our hands right now is the type of memory that goes into a laptop. All right. Okay. And a laptop, basically, there's two different places that memory is usually found on a laptop. Again, depending on the model that you're using. Some memory is located under the keyboard itself. Okay, you have to remove the plastics around it, remove the keyboard carefully, and there you will get to the sockets where the memory chips is. Other laptops have on the bottom a place where you can remove some screws and carefully remove the plastics from the bottom of that, and you'll see the memory slots located there. And you can add one stick of memory, double the memory, whatever you want to do. There are certain levels of memory that you want to be careful of. Don't let somebody oversell you the memory that you need. If you're doing a lot of photographs, if you're doing a lot of heavy duty gaming and that sort of thing, you're probably using one of the new Windows operating systems such as Windows 7. The amount of memory you can put into that system is unlimited, pretty much. You can go 16 gigs of RAM, gigs is a thousand megabytes. So you can go to a <coughs> tremendous amount yes. of memory on there and those programs will utilize it. If you're not, then you, if you're just surfing the web, checking your email, yeah, not then you don't lot. need a whole lot of no. memory for that. And so don't let somebody talk you into buying more memory than you need. Good to know. If you have any questions, feel free to come by Sandia Computers and we'll put you right in the sweet spot for where, what you're doing. Good. All right. And how about these? Are we going to talk about these here? Oh, yes. What we have here, these are the big memory chips that go inside a regular desktop computer. And they would just simply snap in here. Oh, gotcha. Again, the one that you're holding is very, very inexpensive. It failed in a customer's brand new computer in 90 days. Oh, this is so one of bad. ours. Lifetime warranty. Never have to worry about it. It's just simply the best. The difference in price between these two? Seven dollars. Oh, that's it. All right. Well, it'll okay. save you a whole lot of money later yep. on, right? Okay. Absolutely. Very good. If you have any questions for Guru Stu, stop by Sandia Computers. Thank you. We'll see you again next week. Guru Thank Stu. You. They're located at 3625 Wyoming Boulevard. His phone number is 332-7777. Or listen for Guru Stu Saturday mornings from 9 to 10, 1550 AM Kiva, 1550kiva.com.